Hello everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear JD? Can you hear everyone? Evening everybody. Hello. So uh, tonight is Workshop Wednesday, uh, and we've also got a run with Kiel Lubeck. Uh, so we are currently on Cross City, and I'm joined tonight by JD. Hello everyone. Uh, hope you're having a nice evening or afternoon or morning wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's nice to be here. I'm uh, replacing Matt. We thought we could do with a little bit of a rest uh, before, uh, well, I mean, just generally a little bit of a rest from these. I, I wanted to kind of muscle my way into this because I've never been on a workshop Wednesday before. <laughs> wanted to give it a go, see how we went on. Perfect. So, uh, we are on a Class 170. So, good morning, driver. Today you'll be driving a service IV20 700 from Birmingham New Street to Hereford, but only as far as Bromsgrove. You'll be calling at University in Bromsgrove, where another driver will take over from you. However, there are a couple of late trains in front of you today. Lovely. Jamie, just before you get started, apparently my mic is quite low, so I don't know if there's any levelling that needs to be done there. I will see what I can do. Give me a minute. Just before, uh, I know you might not be able to hear me so well, but I'll, I'll, whilst Jamie's fiddling with that, I'll go on with the spiel. Uh, so, um, we are uh, doing a couple of these routes tonight because they are currently on the uh, the Steam sale that we have live at the moment. Uh, all of these routes are discounted at the moment. If you do fancy giving it a go and you like what you see, uh, we've got a big old sale going on at the moment. So give it a shout, give it a look on Steam um, and uh, maybe find something that you like. There we go. Hopefully that's sorted out by... Should be a bit better now. No, this isn't the worst... I'm still quiet, apparently, which is, I suppose, a nice place to be in, really. I'm normally too loud, so... Alright, let's try that. I'm going to tell you what I had for dinner, Jamie, just because that's the way that they do it professionally. <laughs> so, for dinner tonight, I had a risotto, which we, we made from scratch, and it was delicious, uh, with some goat's cheese on the top of it. And hopefully everybody can hear that wonderful sentence. <laughs> rather than the actually important stuff that I'm saying just before. Oh dear. Inaudible. Inaudible. I don't know because I can hear him loud through my mic. That's a mic. That is really odd. Really, really odd. Big echo, so I'm just going to kind of just sit and sit quietly in uh, in the background and just just chill. I think really, <laughs> if people can't hear me. I'm just going to just going to whisper quietly in the background. I could be that sort of uh, angel or devil on your shoulder, Jamie. Yeah, give me a second. I'm going to just pump up the volume, as I say. Because is it because yours is quite loud? There we go. Try that. There we go. Shall I say what I had for lunch now? Uh, I'm going to say what I had for lunch. Uh, what did I have for lunch? I had something called a larb, which is like a Thai uh, rice and limey kind of concoction that was actually rather nice. Well, uh, God knows what's going on. I have no idea. No. Okay. Uh, is it because your game audio is quite loud or better? Is people, some people are saying better. Not good. Okay. Uh, well... I've pushed it up. We'll try that. There we go. Let's 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 continue, shall we? Let's see if we can go. Right. Let's let me started. just let me just turn down my game a little bit. That might help. There we go. Let's try that. Right. Where are we now? We're going to be late now. Lovely jubbly. That's okay. We're running a British train, so there we go. So whose route are we doing tonight, Jamie? Sorry, I missed that bit at the start. So we're on the Cross City route. There we go. Cool. And uh, our friendly neighbourhood mods in the chat are here today. If you have any common questions that you, we get asked in, in lots of streams, and also um, they should have the link as well to this specific scenario if anybody would like it in the chat too. Oh well, this is going well. <laughs> Just 
just turn myself down. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit loud. You are always loud, Jamie, so... Oh, the cheek of it. <laughs> now we're on a class 170, we're now going on the slow parts of... I don't think I've ever been on this route. Uh, I, I've never been, not really been to Birmingham that often, to be perfectly honest with you. So um, ah. this is a, this is this is a relatively new part of the UK to me. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of the sights. Lovely. Ah, ping joins as I can hear us, but uh, brilliant. We're getting there. Brilliant. Yay. That was meant to sound more enthusiastic than it actually <laughs> did sound. I apologise. <laughs> uh, when, when, you might not have heard this earlier when I was saying it, but all of these routes uh, that we're going to be showing tonight are currently on sale in the Steam Store. <laughs> in the Steam Steam. store. Uh, if you are interested and want to give them a, give them a look yourselves, um, there's plenty of other stuff in there as well if you want to give it a, uh, a look-see. Because I took a quick look earlier, earlier, and there's a lot of green on there, which indicates a lot of discounts. So yeah. take a look. Dog God one two three totally agree. Totally agree. Oh we get thirty now, lovely. Best part of Birmingham is the wa Wally model, model rail show. Yep. I held that in the NEC and it's awesome. I have been to the NEC before. Have you? Or haven't you? Sorry, I'm done. I have. I you have, have once. You once. What did you where did you go? What did you do there? Not, not to Wally model railway show, sadly. Um, I can't remember, you know. I think it was like a businessy conference thing, which uh, wasn't any, which wasn't exciting at all. Right. Passing another one seventy. So this this takes us from sort of. Are we going out to in, or are we going into out? Uh, in to out. So we were. So this is in Birmingham. We were. Uh, as you can see, we're this one here, so we were just coming from Birmingham New Street. Yep. Um, and as you can see, it goes up there. And we are currently going down this way, and we will end up uh, down here. There we go. In Bromsgrove. In Bromsgrove. Oh, I'm nice. we haven't got stuff here. It's a good job I checked that. A baked bean kid asks, why is the Cross City route discounted when it's only been out a few weeks? Because we are lovely, kind people. That's why. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't fully understand the uh, the discounting process um, at the moment, uh, but uh, don't don't complain, don't complain. Oh, here we go. We've got we've got a uh, Colonel failure shot here. <laughs> As long as I'm not speeding, that's the main thing. And luckily I'm not, there you go. Got the canal next to us, which is over here. Little known fact, do you know that Birmingham has more canals in it than Amsterdam does? Really? I didn't know that. Mm. Uh, it's quite famous for having Lots and lots and lots of canals. You know what? I'm gonna f just quickly fact check that because I, I th I'm pretty sure that's right. But <laughs> it's where I frantically Google it. Yeah. I haven't spadded, Harry. When did I spad? Mind you, I did watch that last night. It was quite funny. It's got 35 miles of canals. Apparently more than Venice as well, although that is disputed. I can understand why that's disp <laughs> disputed. Just on a blog, are these impressive facts about Birmingham actually true? Okay, shall we shall we test you, Jamie? Okay. While we're on the while we're on. The, so 
Uh, England, sorry, Birmingham was once the capital of England. True or false? Hmm. False, I think. Yep, it is false. I thought it was. Uh, Birmingham is the youngest city in Europe. False. As in, the mo most amount of young people. Oh, I thought you meant is it um, true? Hmm? True? Uh, yeah, Birmingham is the youngest city. Apparently, the city's official tourist board under 25s account for almost 40% of the city's population. Wow. There we go. What you more of these gems to come later? <laughs> there we go. Right, we're now coming into University Birmingham. It's all right. We're only a couple of minutes late. That was uh, that was the the fault of the uh, the audio as well. So yeah. Only me, 1909. I remember you from the quiz live stream last uh, last month, or sorry, earlier this month even. Um, we will be doing another one of those next month. So if you uh, want to get your quiz hat on, uh, then we will be doing another one. Um, I think second week of, of, of June. Why well, I'm coming in stupidly slowly is I've got the red marker on where exactly to stop. Happy with that? That'll do. We're there. All doors are on. There we go. We're there. So, I'll just give you a quick little... Where were we now? University... Look at this. Lovely. So, I'll just give you a quick bit of history of the 170. Uh, they were named as the Turbo Stars. 170 Turbo Stars. It was 139 were built. Um, some were converted to 168s and 171s. There was a minor incident. Also, oh, uh, task fail. There was a minor incident at Bourneville. However, this may has uh, this now has been cleared. The train will depart from Bourneville momentarily, uh, but shouldn't cause you too many problems. Will be held for a minute or so. We're running a couple of minutes late, so we should be okay. Um, so the 170s were in service from 30th of May, uh, make sure I signal back to the guard, there we go, um, 30th of May 1999 and they're still in service today. As I said there was 139 built and they were constructed between 1998 and 2005. Nine have been converted into 168 and 11 have been converted into 171s. They're normally formed of two or three car train sets, and they have a maximum speed of 100 miles an hour. Should we crank up to 100, Jamie? I, d I don't think... I, I think I'd get told off if I did that. <laughs> it's nice how we're running alongside the canal. I like that. Yeah. you got a fan in, in Joshua Murray in the chat who says that you are like the Stephen Hawking of trains. Duh. Duh. Shucks. <laughs> they are a very, um, very cool train, though. I, I do, I do, I do like the uh, the look of the uh, the outside, the outside of them. Yeah, yeah, they're very comfortable inside as well. They used to have first class in the front. Um, they used to run near where they used to run near where I live, so we used to catch these and go uh, jump into first class because it used to be declassified when you uh, took the trains. So brilliant so you were uh, I suppose fair skipping or was is that, is that is that is that what you were doing or no, were you no it's it's literally it was declassified so it was technically you could technically do it without you know you could basically what they did was to get more seats um, they declassified first class so you could sit in first class uh, on a second class ticket ah wow so, I wish yeah. I'd known that when the, with some of the uh, the rush hour trains that I went on when I was working in London. <laughs> yeah, it's great fun. Dog God asks, what's the best turbo star? Ooh. That's a good question. I'm not sure. I'll probably say these turbos. 
Uh, this is probably the best Turbo Star. He suggests the 168, especially the 1680. Ah. Oh, hello. Make sure I'm not speeding. Lovely. Still following the canal. This is lovely. Wanted to give a, a bit of a shout out to a uh, fellow community manager, uh, Nat, last night, who absolutely nailed it in the four hour I, challenge. Yeah, I was so that was really, really good last night. It was, it was tense. It was very, very, very close. We're all cheering on that from the sidelines. Uh, the underdog, and she, she, she brought it home for for the community management team. Very, very proud. Um, just puts a bit of a, a a bar on there for us to be able to try and beat next time. This is where we get off if we went to the Cadbury's World, Bourneville. Ah, see, I have been to I have been to Cadbury's World. I oh, have you. Is it good? Yeah. I've never been. It's it's good. You get a lot. Of, you used to get a lot of free chocolate, which was a really good thing there. But they they give you less now, which is which is sad. Um, yeah. It is perhaps geared a little bit more to, towards younger kids now, but we still had a good time about five years ago. So. Yeah, I haven't been. I've been to the Lind factory though in Switzerland. Which is quite that cool. sounds a lot better, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> Pink Trains is asked, can you get it up to 100 miles an hour? I would agree with that. I would agree. Well, we'll get it up to 90 in a minute, so... I mean, once you get to 90, 100's only a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Laser Jets asks, is there any steam tonight? I don't believe there is any steam tonight. There is actually. Oh, sorry, there is, isn't there? The next, yeah. the next, the next one, of course. Yeah. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a... a Jamie a stream. stream. Yeah, without a bit of steam. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Harry's, I didn't actually go in the factory itself, but you could go to the factory and see what was there. Um, but you couldn't, like, go round it. Um, it was like a, um, a a factory that you could, uh, there was a shop there and you could see the factory from the outside. It was massive, absolutely huge factory. But they have actually changed it now um, so that you can actually, uh, there is, like, a museum there now. Um so I definitely want to go there. They've just now rebuilt it. Speaking of uh, people who have had very fortunate experiences, Nigel in the chat said got free. He got free chocolate when he went to school in Bourneville. Wow. That sounds like the dream. Oh well, yeah, because you live near the factory. There you go. Class 66. So I think we've got, was it about half an hour, 25 minutes on this uh, scenario, then we've got another kind of half an hour long scenario, and yeah. then I will head off uh, and I'll leave you in the capable hands of Jamie. I'm just kind of having a little bit of a fleeting visit tonight, uh, and Jamie will take you through for the Kiel Lubeck uh, scenario um, yeah. later on. some speed on now. Hundred, 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 <laughs> hundred. <laughs> Push that baby to its limit. Doing some interesting 70. camera work there, Jamie. Yeah, I didn't realise what track it was on. I was like, and, uh, and it's this side now. Yeah, uh, LMP Derek, I did see that uh, NNW 611 was at Strasbourg. Yeah, they finally got the Stoker fixed, didn't they? How, are we are we still a little bit behind time wise? We're about two minutes behind. Not Therefore too we need bad. to make up some time. Yep. Don't see what the problem is. Speed, I think. And acceleration. <laughs> Speed's my middle name. 
It's not, it's actually Stephen, but they're both thinking with S. <laughs> How big is the Cross City? Here is the length of the Cross City, there we go. We're currently down there, there we go. Yeah, there. Quite large. Uh, 32 miles, apparently. But that's not including the um, branch branches. Oh, Danny's actually in the chat. Hello, Danny. Who made the scenario? If you were on time, we would have had a small race with a 3-2-3 that we just passed by. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. He He's crafted this room with his blood, uh, blood, his blood, sweat and tears. And we've ruined it, Jamie. We I know. We've ruined it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Danny. Sorry, Danny. But yeah, these are all available on um, Steam Workshop. Um, there are hopefully our friendly mods will be able to stick some links in the chat uh, so that you guys uh, will be able to check them out for yourselves. Elon, Elon's just asked in the chat, mental health check for everyone uh, for chat and streamer. How are you all doing today? Well, I'm doing fine. Thank you very much, Elon. hope everybody else is doing well as well. Are we going to get to Licky Hill, by the way? I don't think we will. This is how well I know Birmingham, that I have no idea where this is on the <laughs> route. <laughs> well, we are... I don't know where we've just gone back through, but... Uh... I'm not sure on this part of the route either, to be perfectly honest. Get it down to 75. We've got a steep grade now going down. Now rolling now. Looks like we are approaching the uh, the decline. Yeah, it's quite steep, isn't it? <laughs> Looking at that. Therefore, just take the brakes off, Jamie. It's fine. It's fine. It's so I haven't actually got the brakes on. <laughs> I did say. I did say, didn't I? I'd be the, the sort of the devil on your shoulder during this. <laughs> you weren't wrong. <laughs> Uh, J Josh, you just asked, have I studied up on Cathcart Circle for Friday? Uh, I've taken a look at the route. Um, uh, Matt is going to be our resident expert on Friday. I'm going to ask a lot of the questions. Uh, so um, I, I, I did be try and I try and have a little bit of a view of, of what's going on. But I also want to ask some of the idiot questions as well. Um, so I, I, I try and experience it with everybody else. Uh, on on the live streams on the on the Friday, so it will be hopefully as much of a, a pleasant surprise for me as it is for for you guys at home. Hang on a minute, this is I didn't realise we were actually going to go down the Licky Incline. I've just realised where we actually. Oh hello, I just put it in emergency. Um, so we are actually on the Licky Incline. Oh my word! Yeah, so the Licky Incline's quite famous uh, because there was a locomotive called Big Bertha that was based at the Licky Incline. It was a one-of-one one locomotive, had a massive great headlight, um, and used to push the trains up the bank. Um, it was really, really interesting. Um, and they used to, sometimes the trains were so heavy that uh, they used to put more than one locomotive at the back to try and push the steam locos up the bank. Makes me want to run a scenario now with the Licky Incline, with two bankers now. Maybe we'll say that for another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and Licky is the steepest... Uh, I'm not reading this directly from the article that we published about it, uh, but it is the steepest sustained mainline railway incline, incline in the UK. Yeah. Another 170. There's two joined together there. Harris Trains asked, well, have I been trained to drive any trains at all yet? I mean, 
I don't think I don't think any of us get trained to drive the trains, do we? We kind of do it in our in our uh, in our own kind of uh, our own way, learning our own um, environments and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I would by no means say I am anywhere near uh, competent as of yet. Anybody that has watched the four up stream uh, on uh, that I was a part of will know that firsthand. Um, but uh, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing. I'm, I'm getting in the hours here and there. And, I'm sure uh, you'll do fine. I'm definitely not going to be driving any any streams uh, anytime soon. Oh, and we should point out as well. We we have a bit of a we have a, a pretty pretty decent sized release tomorrow, don't we? For, we for do. TS. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. We've got. Uh, shall I say it, or do you want to say it? You go for it. This, yeah. This is your this is your baby. Yeah. So we've got the Union Pacific Big Boy is out tomorrow. It is out tomorrow, so we are doing a launch stream tomorrow for it, and hence why the big boy is in there. So, uh, yeah, make sure you watch out for that. It's going to be pretty amazing, I will say that. We've had some really, really great feedback so far from people that have watched the previous stream last week, yeah. uh, and obviously know of Smokebox's talents in building and, and the time that he's put into building um, this loco. Is, is, it looks phenomenal and uh, without knowing quite exactly how it drives it looks like it drives really well yeah yeah I know people will love it it's, it's really really impressive there we go so we're now at Bromsgrove and then that looking upwards is the key incline look at that there you go look at that wow I wouldn't fancy running up that one would you mm -mm. one in 38 to be exact. So not fun at all. Scenario failed. Sorry, Danny. Uh, remember, you can always head over to the Academy. Oh, yeah. I can always... <laughs> Brilliant, Danny. I learn, can always... Learn up, learn up Jamie. Learn yeah. <laughs> remember, you can always head over to the Academy where you'll find great tips on stopping at stations and picking up passengers. If the sound hadn't messed up, I think I would have been okay. Basically, get good, Jamie. Get good. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and let's put it over to this screen here, and I will just change the scenario. Cool. So, second scenario of tonight. Jamie, take it away. Where yep. are we going? So, we were are in the Midlands. Maybe. Yeah, we were in the Midlands, really, aren't we? We're in Birmingham. Um, so, we are now... Where is it? That's the one I want. So, we are now off to Cornwall. Yay, I love Cornwall. We go. I remember the first stream that I did uh, uh, at Dovetail was was with you, Jamie, and we went on the uh, the English Riviera. We so, did. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be, I think, something a little bit. I imagine a little bit similar to that. Yeah. There we go. Let's see what else. Let's see what chat is saying. Yeah, Derek. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> Thanks, mods. Here we go. This is a stopping passenger service from Truro to Falmouth. Open the doors. Scheduled departure is 0906. And this is a scenario put together by Todd Burke. Yeah, and the route upgrade. So this is uh, Falmouth. But as you can see, uh, if you know the Falmouth route rail, it has had a lot more vegetation, some buildings changed, signs, billboards, all sorts have been changed on the route. So it looks absolutely fantastic now. There we go. And we are running with this lovely pannier. There we go. Do you want to give us the lowdown, Jamie? I'm dying to hear. Cause you, I can tell you're bursting to give us more information. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There we go. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, hello. We've got another departure going on. That's a whole class. <laughs> I'm just making sure I've got the right class because panniers there were quite a lot of them and they all had different numbers so trying to remember which one is which is a little bit interesting
So these are, which I have got here, these are the 5400 panniers. Uh, so they were OSIXOs designed by Collett and introduced in uh, 1931 for uh, light passenger work. They were also fitted with auto trains, which are the, uh, the push-pull units. Uh, they weighed 46 tonnes and had uh, 5 foot 2 inch driving wheels and a boiler pressure of 165 pounds per square inch. Stevenson's link valve gear inside um, and uh, I don't think unfortunately I don't think any of these survived as far as I'm aware. Oh that's sad. So, But there was plenty of other panniers that did survive. Do you have any idea, jo I mean, this is probably not a question for you, it's probably more for a dev, but bearing in mind that we have no um, surviving uh, variants of, of this particular loco, how did we go about building it? Was it just source material from like photographs and things like that? Yeah, so uh, I, th I should think it would be from photographs. Um, uh, there is plans I think you can buy for the locomotive, um, but uh, but yeah, there is, there is plenty you can do to find out what uh, about, you know, Steam lo British steam locomotives. Um, let me just make sure I've got the right head code as well, because if not, I'll get shouted at. Um, so yeah, we're off actually. Um, so yeah, they're, they're all the plans are there. We go. We're in the cab now. Blowing off. Not good. I think I mentioned this beforehand, but I do enjoy that you've got the flask of uh, flask of hot beverage in the uh, in the cab car. <laughs> yeah. What would you have, Jamie, if, if you were to have a hot beverage with you? Hot chocolate. I see, I think I'd like it for a few sips and then I think it would get really sickly. I don't think you can beat a good cup of tea for me. Gauge glass, okay. Yeah. I'm not really tea key and keen on tea or coffee. I'll be perfectly honest. But, um... Just when I thought we could be friends. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm not a big coffee fan, I have to be honest, but uh, tea, I could pretty much, uh, if you cut if you cut me, I think probably about 70% of my blood would probably be tea. <laughs> oh, someone suggested hot sake. Wow. Interesting. Uh, Harry, yeah, make sure you keep an eye on your cutoff. So this is your reverser here. Keep an eye on your reverser, which is this. You move up and down uh, to get more speed and your regulator. And also keep an eye on your pressure. Um, you don't want to be too low on pressure-wise either. I feel like Harry's asking me a very loaded question. Uh, what's your favourite tea brand? I'm not sure there is a winning answer here, to be honest with you. But we have PG tips a lot because it's normally the uh, most cost-effective thing to get in Sainsbury's. But uh, I am very well aware that some people might hate me for that. Um, I do enjoy Yorkshire tea as well. How many people could one of these hold, Jamie? Do you reckon? What the? Uh, oh, hello. Got all different camera positions. What the? Uh, what the? The train itself. Yeah. The the, the train. So the, the train that we've got here with the, with the, the two carriages. How many do you reckon? So each compartment. So we've got first class at the front here, and then second class. So the first class has got three seats each side, which you can see there. It's got three each, so you can get six in each first class compartment, which there's four of those. 
Um, then the second class, you probably get four or five each side, depending if you want to squeeze or not. Um, so, and then you've got, I think, four of those as well. And then you've then got the rest of the train, which has got another four. Um, and then you've got the guards compartment for overfill, which I've spent many a time going in the guards compartment. Uh, I, was, I was trying to do some quick maths, Jamie, as you were, as you were uh, going through that, but I completely lost it after four by four by four by four. Uh, I think I think maybe about eighty, and then some overspill, maybe. Yeah, yes, I'd say so. Yeah. So tell me, Jamie, about the, the times you've been in the overspill. What's what's the overspill been like? So it's just basically where you sit in the gas compartment. Um, but, um, well, it isn't sitting. It's mainly standing in the gas compartment. Um, I've done it quite a few times, uh, not mainly at galas at Steam Railways, um, which is uh, where we've done it most of the time, purely because there just hasn't been enough room on the train. Um, because the galas have been popular. I think uh, one of the most famous ones was at um, the North Yorkshire Moors Railway where we went all the way from Pickering to uh, um, I think it was all the way, not to Whitby but it was like the station before Gromont um, and it was standing all that way which I think is about 15, 16 miles something like that. So that was rather fun. <laughs> Is it, is it sort of sardine special, like you're, you're sort of packed in, or is it...? Not too bad, you at least get some space, yeah. I have known it to be sardines before. I have known it to be. I feel like I've started some healthy discussion about tea in the chat. Yeah. Uh, I will, I will leave it there. I will not. I will not discuss tea anymore, because I feel like, again, it's leading us down a very, very dangerous path. <laughs> Um, Vic, uh, Vixitron Hosta asks, what do the different percentages on the reverser mean? Uh, what's the difference between 33% and, say, 70%? It's like the gears in the car, basically. But it's, it's the lower the percentage, the s sm sort of smaller the cutoff. Um, so if you imagine, like, you'd say your first gear is 75% in your car then your 33% is like, I don't know, your fourth or fifth gear in your car. Sort of, that gives you an idea. Okay. So, you know, as you come up the speed limit, or as you come up in speed, you then re reduce the cutoff um, to make it more efficient, basically. Make the, the locomotive more efficient. Sure. Yeah, so sort of, um, by efficient you mean sort of y y using less fuel. Yeah. 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 Speeding a little bit, there we go, but that's fine, we'll soon drop down. So what's, um, I, I again, I, I kind of didn't really pay attention at the start of the scenario, I probably should have done. Uh, where, whereabouts, so we, how many stops have we got, how, uh, what, what, is our, what is our purpose? Uh, during this scenario and where do we finish up? So we currently started from Tr Truro and we're currently now running uh, towards Falmouth um, we've got a stop at uh, Perrinwell down is our first stop and then we've got two other stops before that as well nice yeah. I like that shot by the way I like that shot lovely <laughs> Truro is Truro's a very nice little place actually um, if you ever get the opportunity to go, particularly if you have a rainy day in Cornwall, it's a nice place to go on a rainy day. Yeah, I've been um, to Falmouth, but I can't remember if I've been to Truro. See, I've never been to Falmouth. I wouldn't know what it's like. Falmouth is nice. There you go, Bait Bing Kid has put some advice in. There we go. So when you're going fast on Steam, you like, uh, use 75% throttle. And have the reverser open at 25%. 
one uh, LMS in the chat. She said, part of me now wonders why Truro is a nice place to go when it's raining. Because there are plenty of nicer places to go in Cornwall when it's not raining. Ooh. Stop! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, there we go. It's only one door off the end. You jammy little so and so. <laughs> look at that! Look, that's that, that's. I mean, you can literally you can get off that. <laughs> that's a health and safety hazard, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I've jumped off that before. That's fine. Some unsuspecting poor passenger is going to come out there and expect it to be the the uh, the platform there. And they're just going to have a really, really bad time of it. <laughs> uh, funny that it's the first class passengers who are going to have that worry oh, that's as well. Very true. Yeah, that's <laughs> very true. That's what you see by I men by the upgrade. You've got them all lamps and bins. Great Western, think of that. Lamps, bins. You'll enjoy savouring powers now with more meat. Um, there we go. Sort of things like that. What's this? Metal polish. Creamy. Incredible shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. I feel like the pies one, they probably should be advertising pasties, really, I'd have thought, but... Yeah, no, that is true. And I know that is really stereotypical, and I apologise to any of our Cornish audience listening. I love you guys. <laughs> but they missed a trick by not putting pasties there. No, just so there's a nice river boat trip from Falmouth to Truro. Right away, next it. time. Yep, Dartmoor is in Devon, Moggy. Agatha Christie country. I'm actually going to to Devon this uh, this summer on my uh, my holidays. I'm going to Dartmouth. Oh, you are actually going to Dartmouth. Oh, you love the steam railway there, then. I might have to just take a take a quick gander. I'm not sure uh, my partner will be too impressed, but I'll be. I'll say it's. I'll say it's for work-related purposes. Yeah. Well, you can actually take a really nice trip because you can go to. Um, uh, oh, what is it? Can you go to. Um, is it Kingswear? I think it's. Kingswear. Uh, yes, uh, Buck near Buckfastley. You can go down to. I think. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the uh, the name of the place now, but yeah, it's lovely. You'll love it there. There's a I boat in the railway, and it's lovely. Yeah, the Heritage Railway down near there, the one at the one at Buckfastley, um, or the stop at Buckfastley, is right next to an otter and butterfly farm. That's the one, yeah, that's the South yeah. Devon Railway that one. Sorry, the South Devon Railway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's uh, I I very much appreciate that one. I'm a big fan of otters, so. Everyone seems to be enjoying and regaling in stories about Devon and Cornwall in the chat, which is lovely. That's good. Harry asks you, I'm going to ask you, Jamie, because you're more of the uh, train simulator aficionado. Do you have a favourite route in train simulator? Um, that's a good question. Um, um, I don't know, actually. Hmm. I'll let you ruminate on that one. Whilst, yeah. Uh, whilst uh, uh, baked bean kid has asked if the otters and butterflies ever interbreed, I really, really hope not. But if they did, there'd be butterflies. Apparently, they're building a new railway to Dartmouth at the moment, so I might need to see some development. I'll take some pictures, everyone. Yeah. I'll take some holiday snaps and bring them onto a live stream. It's just nice countryside, isn't it? It's just yeah. nice to be able to go through the, the winding countryside. You lined yourself up perfectly, Jamie. Don't ruin it now. That's all right. Oh, I'll go down oh. a bit further.
get rid of the... There we go. And I'm not speeding! There we go. Oh, I like the panning shot. Oh, that's <laughs> a good panning shot. <laughs> I am going to Devon by car. Um, we have far too much luggage to, to go by a train, unfortunately. Uh, sadly. Keeping an eye on my pressure, I'm doing okay. Uh, Dog Gods asked about Steam in Train Sim World 2. Uh, a little bit early at the moment for that kind of talk um, when we've got more information about the Spirit of Steam. Uh, project we will let you know um, but there are a couple of blogs on the website already if you are interested um, just take a look through uh, some of the articles that we've put in there but I know Jamie you've been working with uh, Matt around how the steam side of things is going to work we're gonna we're gonna keep it on the down low for the time being until we've yeah. got a little bit more uh, confirmation about things yeah no I'm really looking forward to it but yeah Who, who's who's uh I mean, these panniers, they're brilliant fun, because the Victory Works pack has different, uh, this is uh, the panniers from Victory Works, you get different versions of the panniers, because there was loads of them. Um, there was 57XXs, uh, 54s, um, 64s, loads. And there are only slight differences, but you can notice them. Coming up to the top of the bank now. should highlight again um, that all of the routes we're doing tonight are currently on sale um, in a completely unrelated reason why we are doing some of these routes tonight is they are on sale on uh, on Steam if anybody's interested in any of them or take a look and see what else is, is available there's some routes that are uh, from as little as 2.99 from what I can see which is pretty pretty damn nice to be honest um, if there's anything in there that, that tickles your fancy then then take a look Actually, it's the Falmouth branch that is on for two ninety nine, isn't it? So actually, this route itself is on for two ninety nine. It is. Uh, yeah. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like almost like we planned it. <laughs> yeah. So you, uh, if you want this this route, uh, obviously you've got the uh, what we've just mentioned for two ninety nine for the Falmouth branch. This is uh, then by what was his name again? Sorry, can I just get the name again? Uh, this is by Todd Burke. So Todd Burke, hey, he's just recently released uh, an extension, uh, or not an extension, a uh, uh, enhancement of the route. So this has changed some of the scenery um, as well as some of the other bits and pieces in the route. Um, so you can uh, you can see, so you can, and that's a that's on workshop. Very cool. Do you know how many minutes early I am? 25. No, not as early as that. I'm three minutes early, but that's that's quite good going. Mod LMS, you just know I want to run a Jinty at some point, don't you? <laughs> What I'd say, everybody, is if um, also we, we do workshop Wednesdays every week. Um, if anybody's got any particular scenarios they think would work really, really well for something like this, we're always looking for new ideas and new suggestions. So just whiz them over to us. Um, put them in Discord. Put them in the forums. We'll, we'll happily see what we can we can do. Uh, we try and plan our streams up to a month in advance, um, but we'll have weeks where. We can we can squeeze a few odd things in here and there. So, um, if you've got any suggestions for things, anything you'd like to see, then let us know. I know there's a couple of suggestions in there at the moment, which I'm I know I'm going to certainly have a look at. Yeah, there are links in the description to the uh, the scenarios as well. We'll be doing a bit of Kiel Lubeck after this. 
Well, yeah. Jamie will. I'll be hopping off, but... Has she stopped properly in the platform this time? No first-class angst this time round. Nope. Not all the anchors. And as you can see, now this is a 57 pannier. And as you can see, it's slightly different. What are the key defining features in comparison to our, our loco? Uh, windows. Um, and I think height as well, and type of shape. So if I've just shown you that, and then you now have a look at that. You can see there is some differences there. So if you look at the windows on the 57XX, they've got s round windows. On the 54, they've got square and much okay. larger windows. And it looks like it's a little bit more stumpy as well. I think so, yeah. It, it, uh, the chimney is certainly taller. Um, so I think the, the boiler and sa uh, tank is slightly lower down in the frames big fan of the uh, the advert in the background as well. Caravans live life on the move. There we go, look at that. And I think there's possibly another one somewhere. There might be another one. Let's have a look. Nope, not here. I think it's another station I was looking at. I like these little flourishes. These are the things that, that, that really make me smile. You hear all the birds singing, which is lovely. I mean, I can't. I can't hear the audio, sadly, <laughs> but... Got the fire buckets there as well. There we go. We have a Thomas the Tank Engine question for you, Jamie. Uh, yes, he is. Yes, he is based off a of 57XX, a 5700, which is the one where I filmed going out the other way with a good strain. Realise I got the brakes off. Good job, I double check that. <laughs> Could go rolling. Luckily, I was on the flat. You see, I was so early, we had to wait. <laughs> Anybody who's interested on for Ralph Fan TV this week, we've done it a little bit differently because we've got um, the midweek madness sale on Steam this week. So we are doing Tuesday to Friday this week. Um, so we have a stream tomorrow, which is going to be the Big Boy launch stream, which I know a lot of people are very excited about. Yeah. And we're also going to have the Cathcart preview stream for Train Sim World 2 on Friday with myself and Matt, which is also going to be quite exciting, I think. First look at that. Um, we'll try and answer as many questions as we can, show you a top-level um, view of the uh, the loco and the route, or the locos and the route. Um, and uh, we will uh, yeah, we'll take as many questions as we can. I realised that I said locos or loco. I'm not 100% sure which is actually right, so don't infer anything by that. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Cameron said on the old ECML route, Newcastle to York, there's a billboard that says Darlington, like London, but closer. I've been to Darlington. It is not like London. Uh, it's probably it is closer, though, so... Darlington was the place where, when I was at uni, uh, and I was coming back from Durham on the um, uh, the um, route down to London, um, I'd stopped off at P I had to change at Peterborough, and Darlington was the annoying place that was just outside Durham that I still had to change over at on several occasions. So I had like half an hour sitting in Darlington Station, which was never a particularly fun experience. That's a good shot, Jamie. There we go. One more stop, and then on to Falmouth. How many of these? How much of this route still is as it is right now in this in this route? Uh, I wish I could do. I, I wish I could have taken a screenshot and done a comparison. That was one thing I I, I couldn't get. But it's it's quite a 
I certainly know scenery wise, like the shr uh, shrubs and, and trees, there's certainly a lot more. Um, and I think some of the textures have been changed as well. So, uh, but yeah, it does show them in the images. I know on one of the branch offs, which I'll just show you the route, I know this branch, they've added a whole new village around here, um, which is quite amazing. Oh, wow. That's just, that's just outside Truro. Yeah, so that's one of the uh, uh, branches. There we go. Used to run down to a docks so there. There we go. Newham Key docks. Are you liking the route, Moggy? This one's got a lot of love already, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You were saying earlier, Jamie. Yeah, it's got a really good review score at the moment. Um, I think it's only been out about three or four days. Um, and it's already on the top spot. It's one of the top spots. I think it's got a four, four star review, possibly. Oh, it's Moggy approved. Well, if it's Moggy approved, you know it's going to be fine. The Moggy seal of approval is definitely what you want. Yeah. Moggy, you should just go to all our scenarios that we play and just put Moggy approved. That's all you need to do. That's what we should ask the creative team to put on all of our uh, all of our nice screenshots and stuff. Just a big sort of rubber stamp of Moggy approved. Yeah. Dog Gods asked, what's, what's your worst experience in a train? They had to stand from Reading to Exeter St. David's once. Wasn't fun at all. know about that one. I think I would say the I think I went from Darlington to Peterborough and um, my seat had been I'd somebody had double booked my seat so I didn't have a seat uh, I had to sit in the luggage rails which was not a fun experience the luggage rails that I, w I should highlight were completely full of luggage as well hopefully no one had anything that you could squash in there I mean, at that point, I was past caring, so I don't really know, but... Hello. Mm. Oh, there we go. What, what was your worst experience, Jamie? Hmm. I think one of the worst ones I've had was we were on a... I went to go to... Where did I go? No. Somewhere like... Um, I think I went to Lothborough, I think. And um, came back on the train, and we got this really old uh, class 156, um, and it was going to run all the way to back to Norwich, so from Lothborough near Leicester all the way to Norwich via Peterborough, Ely, all the way through there, which was a it's a long trek. Um, phone was nearly dying, um, so. Um, obviously because it was an older unit didn't have any phone charges um, and it, it really just didn't sound a healthy unit whatsoever it was just it wasn't happy um, so we were, we were going along we just got to to Grantham all good all fine I thought right okay now here's gonna be the interesting bit it's got to keep up with 125 mile an hour trains um, high-speed trains on there and I was like, hmm, this is going to be interesting now. So uh, we ran the, um, we ran the, uh, ran, started to go towards uh, Peterborough from Grantham. And uh, started picking up speed. All of a, all of a sudden we got to um, uh, one section. Uh, we came, came through the Grantham tunnels, cleared all that, came the other side. And all of a sudden, the emergency brakes came on. Slammed straight on. We came to a complete halt. The driver said, uh, well, we're just going to stop here for a minute. So you had trains passing you 125 miles an hour, which in something that's like that is a little bit... They're a little bit of a rattle box, uh, the 156s. Um, so uh, 
sort of sat there for ages, and they went. The guard went along the train, checked all the emergency um, uh, things to see that someone hadn't pulled it, which no one had. Um, so we thought, oh, great, this is going to be fun. So we, I think we sat there about 10, 15 minutes while they sorted this all out. Um, he was like, right, no, I can't find it. Um, and actually, I wasn't far away from the driver, and the driver actually left the door open so I could hear what was going on in the cab. Um, we then got up to speed, got a little bit further. Guess what happened again? The emergency brakes came on. So again, we had to sit there for ten minutes, him walking up and down the train, checking all the emergency things. Uh, and again, still couldn't find the problem. Um, so... He then had to run at reduced speed all the way to Peterborough, um, and we had to be shunted over to a slower line because we were then delaying. We were on the fast line. We were then delaying all the high-speed trains behind us. Um, um, so what we had to do was... And then we had to swap trains at Peterborough. But it was nice because we got a brand new unit with phone charges in, so it was brilliant. Um, I think thinking about it, that's probably one of my worst. It sounds pretty hor horrendous, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> not quite as bad as Stoney's, who's put it in the chat, says, the scariest for him was getting off a train at Birmingham New Street, completely deserted with the klaxon going off as the station was being evacuated by an IRA bomb alert. Wow. Which uh, sounds awful. I mean, I was going to follow up mine with... Uh, with not really the worst train journey, but I was on, uh, I'd got, it was, I think it was Valentine's Day, and I'd, uh, my, my partner had come up uh, to, to kind of uh, spend Valentine's Day um, up in Durham, and we had gone to Newcastle for the day, um, and we got back on, I think it was an Edinburgh to Penzance train mm. uh, on the way back, because it stops at both of those stations, and uh, we got off the train, and I was kind of halfway walking back to, to where I lived, and uh, I realised that I'd left my phone on the train on the way down to Penzance. Oh, no. Uh, so, fortunately, somebody had noticed it, uh, and they were going to Birmingham, so they dropped it in. Uh, we're at Birmingham again. Hey, we're speaking about Birmingham again. Yeah. Um, dropped it off in Birmingham New Street, so then I had to drive up. Or No, I didn't drive at that point. Uh, so my parents then had to drive me uh, to Birmingham New Street Station on a Saturday, which they were obviously really delighted about and uh, absolutely loved me for. So uh, that's a chat bad train noticed, journey, yeah. but a bad train experience. Jamie, oh I no! <laughs> Ran out of water because I was keeping an eye on stopping. I didn't check the water, did I? Oh. Uh, God. oh. We were nearly there. I was literally that close to Falmouth. But, uh, oh dear. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Jamie run without uh, something going wrong, would it? Jamie, how did that happen? We were having such a lovely conversation. And then I just ran out of water. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> concentrating on too much of talking than Should've... I was actually concentrating on the water levels. Should have poured your hot chocolate into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear, no. there we go. So yeah, we've, we've, we've managed to fail both scenarios so far tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, sorry, Todd Burke. It was a lovely route, but yeah. we seem to have just managed to run out of water. Oh, dear. The funds we have, hey. Yeah, melted plugs now, Moggy. Well, we won't be very happy with me. No. Yep. There we go. Oh dear. And on, you know what? On that note, I think I'm going to leave you guys to your evenings. <laughs> uh, Jamie's done enough damage for one night. Like, so, uh, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to leave you to to do your worst with uh, with Kill Lubeck. Yeah. Um. But I'll pop off for the evening. I, I hope you enjoyed uh, the first hour, everyone. Uh, we'll just uh, Jamie will be taking you through for uh, the remainder on the Kill Lubeck route. Remember, everything uh, that you're seeing tonight is on the Steam sale. If you yeah. want to get involved. Um, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys on Friday uh, yep. for the Cathcart uh, Circle preview stream. Uh, and Jamie will be back tomorrow for the big boy a launch stream. But I'll pass you back over to Jamie for the rest yep. of the stream. Have a good there one, everyone. See, yeah, I'll just put it on the little screen. So, oh, um, yeah. Make sure you make sure you don't, Jamie. Make sure you've got a, a nice uh, top up next to you of <laughs> a cup of water. See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>
Right, there we go. Right, let me just quickly put it back on that. And I will get this scenario up for Kiel Lubeck. I can't believe I did that. Can't believe I did that. It's because I'm concentrating on what I was doing, wasn't I? And uh, where are we? Oh, ha! <laughs> I must admit, don't panic, I won't do that with the big boy tomorrow. Um, I'm going to let the fireman do that. Do, 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 do. Let me actually find what we're running. And there we go. There we are, now we're back. Yeah, uh, funny enough, I was having a sip of a drink, and literally, like, the loco ran out of water. <sighs> Can't believe it. Can't believe it. And I was, like, that close to, um, to, uh, Falmouth. That close. Just the people in Falmouth would have just heard this massive explosion and think, what the hell is that? It's just me running out of water. Yeah, I know exactly, Strike Eagle. It got, ironically, I was drinking water. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Cyclone. Yes. Yes. I was actually drinking the water. Um, yeah. There we go. Never mind. Right, we're on kill you, Beck, and we are in the class. I can't even remember what it is. Um, German. I think is it the two eight one two one eight two one eight. I think. Just waiting for a late running train ahead. Then we will carry on. Open the doors here, uh, here again, and while we wait, yes, two one eight. I thought it was. All right, put the doors on. Let me put the wipers on. You change the change the wiper speed. There we go, and here we are. Shall I actually put my right headlights on? Look at this. Lovely. Oh, J J H three two. Oh, that's that's not good. There we go. Look at that. Six four eight. Right, let's depart, shall we? I don't think I'm going to get stuck with this one so much. Well, uh, Harry's got this steering wheel here. Um, you've got your position, I think it's there, I think. What's uh selector? So this steering wheel is the throttle there. Um, your brakes are along here. It is quite a confusing cab, but I think once you get to know it, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, Wolfgang, yeah, I, I'm not going to try and attempt PZB. Um, I died, I, yeah, not after that run. Wow, Crucible. Ouch.
Oh, hello. It's alright, I'm not speeding anymore. Was that it, Crucible? Really? Wow. I'm surprised by that. Oh, was it Crucible? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I think it does, I'm not sure if it does have a cruise control. Um, I, I did have a look, quick look at the buttons for it, um, but I couldn't work it out myself. So, um, I, I think it's something I'm going to have to learn with this. Um, but it is, it is a lovely loco. A uh, Theodore Urban, I like Steam more than Electric, um, but I run, um, but I run uh, Electric, I like Swiss Electrics mainly, like the the very, very early um, ones with rods and long front ends, you know. Uh, Wolfgang, yeah, it's quite a different. I mean, I, I do a lot of railway photography myself. Um, so when when I sort of when we sort of choose um, the the uh, weekly screenshot winner, we look at many things. You know, um, oh, is the sound not good enough? Uh, Wolfgang, hang on. Uh, let me just check. Let's bring the sound up a little bit. How's that? Is that a little bit better? There we go. See you, uh, see you, dog god. Uh, JH32, this is the DBBR218. There we go. Which is hydraulic, I think. Very nice machines. We're on uh, Move the Dog, we're on Kiel Lubeck. Make sure I actually stop at the next station. Going with the Dostos. There we go, look at this. Come in nice and steady. I've turned the game up. Sorry, I've been there. Uh, some of the levels might not be. Let's try that. Let's 
really weird. Is that better? You know what? I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh dear, there we go. There's the game sound. <laughs> oh dear, we got there in the end, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Sorry. My bad. The sound was actually coming through my mic. <laughs> Funny Moggy. Funny. Funny. Oh, don't they, Danny? That's a shame. They are lovely locos. I have no idea, Mod LMS. I have no idea. go. And all the dusto doors. Well, there we go. When I did the research, oh, Danny said, when I did the research, it was all 648s and RB84s and RE83. So many 648s. All right. Okay, cool. Thanks, Harry's Trains. Hope you enjoyed it. Rob Pal, I just like using the pawn, it's fine. Go off to 100 miles an hour now. Oh, I'm kilom miles, kilometers. Yep. Uh, Wolfgang, no, I didn't see the MRHST farewell documentary. Um, that's something I do need to watch uh, 
Although it is going to be really sad to not see them anymore. That's going to be going to be a shame. Turn my light down a little bit. I'm in nice and steady. Oh, in the call, we've just done it. Yeah, we've just done it. And I completely failed because just before I got into Falmouth, I ran out of water. Which is very, very clever of me. It was a good job I checked that signal, wasn't it? Goes to see double six four eight. Open the Dosto doors. We on time. No, we're not, unfortunately. Do love that clock though. go right we're off again ah strike eagle now I got plenty of diesel plenty of diesel I'll be very surprised if I do Nice short space of route. No, well, we know uh, went from double to single back to double. So we have probably gone from there. We've gone to there. We now have gone there, and we're now all the way off to here, and we will end up in Lubeck. We've got 120 kilometers an hour now. Lovely. Opening right up now.
Uh, Jack MNC, yeah, so we've just had JD's just joined, uh, uh, has just left. Um, he uh, joined us for the first part of Watch Up Wednesday. I'm now running solo uh, for the next hour. Um, but Matt will be back tomorrow. Me and Matt are going to run the launch stream of the UP Big Boy. So don't forget, the UP Big Boy will be launching tomorrow. So keep an eye on social um, and keep an eye on uh, all our usual channels uh, so you can keep an eye when the Big Boy launches. Apart from that, I'm very, very good, thank you. Oh, hello. Oh blimey, I'm speaking quite a bit now. Ooh. I've lost now all my points. Well done. That's because I was looking at chat. Sorry, I got to blame chat. Oh. Uh, SD Twitch, uh, the UP Big Boy um, uh, is a new one uh, by Smokebox, um, and it, yeah, it's 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 incredible. If you can watch the first stream, do because it's brilliant. Yep, yeah, Jack MC. Yeah, I need to learn how to do the AFB. I think it has. To, it does have AFB on it. Uh, Striker, you'll, um, no I'm not, so I'm the uh, community manager, um, uh, one of the community team that we have, uh, I'm a community manager for, with the team we have, um, and I mainly look after the TS side, um, so I mainly look after um, the forums on the TS side, you know, Workshop Wednesday, um, and all the TS streams, um, which we normally do with Matt. Uh, Victor, uh, we are aware of it, so don't worry. Um, we we are all aware of it. Um, um. Hi, Ducko uh, Train TV. And we're getting on 18 kilometers to go. Chat, what's your favorite German locomotive? It can be steam, diesel, or electric. Well, and tell me what your favorite is.
185. Train enthusiast has said uh, Siemens Vectron. Nice. Four two three. Oh, ice ICE T. Nice. Regimen. Ah, yes. Yes, Frankfurt U Bahn. Keep an eye on what I'm actually doing. Uh, Docker Train TV is DBBR one five five. Golden Spike Creations, I'm not sure which, uh, uh, what you mean by that, are you, which route are you, is that happening on? Cameron Young, 155, nice. Oh yes, they, yeah, that is, I can't remember what class, is it the, the bigger one, or the, you meant, obviously you meant the, the bigger one, um, yeah, that, I can't remember the class number, that is very nice though. Although, chat, I have got something to show you, I don't know whether you'd noticed it, but something new has arrived, from the back. We've got that now. Uh, you're probably wondering, for those who do not know, um, what on earth this is. Um, so this is a uh, lever side. Basically, the, basically, you'd have this in the signal box. This would sit on the front of the lever on the signal box. And this was for which signal box? I'm not entirely sure where it's come from. But as you can see, it says 12 main crossover west. Um, Strug Eagle, yeah, it probably would be a very good bookmark, I must admit. Uh, it's a bit thick, though, but that was what they used to stick on the front of a... Um, uh, used to stick on the front of the uh, signal levers, as you can see on the back. You can see it's got the actual black paint from the crossovers. Um, so, yeah, there we go, and that will just sit on the back there like that. Because why not? Why not? Exactly, Crucible. Exactly. Yeah, so when you're in the signal box, all the uh, signals and um, uh, all the different signals and points had numbers. And then depending on what signal or number you wanted, uh, depending on which you wanted to change, um, that would be the number that you'd change.
Hey Dominic, uh, it's just a display piece. So I just I bought it so it's it's something that I can just keep. Um, so uh, for one thing, you can keep it in the back here and display it with everything else, not like my SNCF lamp and things like that. A crucible? No, I haven't. No, I haven't actually got the lever uh, or the the, st uh, the lever to stop it. You know, all I've got is the pad that sat on the front of the lever, determining which uh, lever it was. Favourite colour for a train? Hmm. I would probably say either apple green or royal blue. Hello, 210 now. Well, you would say that, Emmett. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I mean, LMS Crimson is gorgeous, I must admit. It's a lovely colour. Going through the forests now, look at this. BL Black, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised, Moggy. No, I'm not sure, I'm not as keen on Southern. Although I do like um, South Eastern and Chatham Railway. Green, that's nice. Any coming in now? It's lovely running through this forest. Let's see if I can get a quick shot. We got enough time. Yeah, we got enough time. We'll just get a nice corner shot. Get another nice shot while we're here. We're now coming into a double track section there. Oh, I stopped way too harshly, way too early. Never mind. Yeah, it's a lovely route, isn't it? Yeah, Flix train account. Yeah, any livery. I mean, if if you, you know, I, I'm not just saying, you know, steam era liveries. You know, there, there's plenty of lovely liveries. I, I mean, um, the Raetian Railway in Switzerland, the red. That's a lovely livery. Um, um, as well as the, um, I'm trying to think there was one, um, some of the T new TGV route, uh, liveries in the white, that's, that's a lovely run, the, um, I'm trying to think what, what, um, livery they call that one now. So 
It's alright, I'm only a minute late. Don't panic. We've got 20 minutes of our next stop then into Lubeck. Oh yeah, that's a nice livery, train enthusiast. Yeah, that's a nice livery. Oh, am I going to stop? Yeah, I think I'm going to stop. These got quite good brakes on them, these. Come on, get the other coach in. Music Melody, have you seen the new Night Jet livery? Or the, the new Night Jets, actually. They look really good. They're really good. No, I haven't, haven't been to Austria for quite a while. Uh, I did do a Swiss... I'd, um, yeah, Music Melody, have a look. The new night jets. Um, I think they just launched into traction, just or just launched into traffic recently. Jack Hughes, yeah, Western Midlands, yeah, it's a quite a new livery, really, that isn't it. What's the special number, Cru Oh, Crucible. Oh dear, it's not, is it, Crucible? That's the question for everyone. Have you actually slept on a train? And I don't mean just a doze here and there. I mean actually properly slept on a train. Oh, funny Crucible. I knew someone would say that. Nice. Yeah, so if you have, tell me where you've where where you've um slept. You know, what 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 trains, what railways you know, I have on uh, the Seven Valley Railway uh, when they do their all night running. That's the only once I've done it. Oh, and I did sleep on a sleeping coach at the North Yorkshire Malls Railway as well. Ouch, Mod LMS. Would you say that's your worst experience of a train then? <laughs> wow. It's a good job you didn't wake up there. Uh, wake up any worse than that like Carlisle or somewhere like that back in the cab a bit oh you've done the Caledonian sleeper nice nice Scott, you 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 slept on the seven and quarter gauge con flat. How ha, how how? It must have been a long con flat. Oh, thank goodness for that, Danny. Good job it wasn't anywhere else. Ah, yes. Packed train with no air conditioning, that's always the worst. While we're slowing down, and I'll just slow down a little bit more so we can actually... Uh,
Let's get some clistry up, uh, clistry? history up of the DB class 218. Um, so they were before uh, before 1968. They were the DB class V4164s, or a four-axle diesel hydraulic locomotive acquired by the Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Bundesbahn for use on main and secondary line for both passenger and freight trains. Have I got the road coming in? Yes, I have. So they were built between. Uh, they were built at ni 1968. Oh, hello! I'm speeding now. Um, 19, and between 1971 and 1979, there was 12 prototypes, uh, 398 main productions, uh, productions, and one as 218399 real built from 215112. Uh, let me just find the. They have a maximum speed of 87 miles an hour. Um, and there we go. Uh, I don't think there's any in preservation. I think some are preserved now, I think. I think a lot of them are still in operation, aren't they? Wow, Striker Eagle, that was lucky. Yeah, I don't think it was a very good idea, Cyclone, to give the information as I'm trying to stop the train. But there we go. That's just because I last, I was like, oh my god, I remember, I need to say the information of the locomotive, don't I? Now uh, coming nice and steady into Lubeck. <laughs> yeah, Cyclone, yeah. Once you get the hang of it. Yeah, train enthusiasts. I did hear, though, that they were going to run a, a night service from uh, St Pancras now, weren't they? I think, in the future. Probably stopped a little bit too harshly there, and I've got. Oh, look at this! Two six, uh, two class two six one. That's very very modern for a shunter. Look at that. If it is a shunter, I should think it's probably a bit more than a shunter to be honest. Look at that. And what have we got over here? We've got more Dostos over here. We've got another six four eight over here. Look at that. Uh, train enthusiasts, I'm not entirely sure where to. Oh, that's good, NLP, Derek. That's good. Nice driver, this servo snorkel. Uh, continue to Lewinberg. Shift finished. Lovely. So, I think we are pretty much there now. So, I hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. Uh, I'll be at my little cock up uh, with the uh, or mess up with the um, uh, pannya. But um, hope you've all enjoyed this stream. Uh, don't forget we are on again tomorrow, uh, and tomorrow is the big boy launch on UP Big Boy launch on uh, TS. So make sure you are out for that. Um, it'll be really really good. Um, Oh, thank you, Cyclone. I thought it was a shunter. Thank you for that. Uh, and thank you for... Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, you're all welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Um, so we'll see you all... See you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See you later.